Hey everybody, Will here. I wanted to share an update on how I am using scripture within my LogSec knowledge graph in order to do devotionals and to do Bible study. I also want to show a keyboard maestro macro that I'm using in order to get verse information into my graph as smoothly and with as little manual work as possible. So let me start off with this keyboard maestro macro. So basically what I do is I type a verse in and then I type in this command and it will go and highlight it. It'll do some formatting and then open up Bible Gateway, grab that verse and then paste it into my log set graph to kind of minimize the amount of work that I'm doing each time. So within each LogSec daily journal page, I have a template set up that walks me through some items that I do as part of my morning routine, my spiritual routine in the morning. So today's verse of the day from Uversion is something that I wanted to throw into my graph. So the first thing I do is I hold shift and I click Bible and you'll see this Bible page that I loaded up and I have a section for the Old Testament, New Testament, and then one chapter for each book. So today's verse of the day is from Isaiah 54, verse 10. So I type that verse in. I type in slash BG to kick off my keyboard master micro. And it goes ahead, grabs that verse, copies it, pastes it. And now I have this verse in my graph. Okay. So once I do that, I then embed this block that I've just created into my daily graph. So to do that, I hold option and then I just drag it over. And just like that, I have this verse embedded into my graph and I can start making a devotional around it. Okay, just some filler there. So. Just to show you the power that block references and block embeds can have for you, like let's let's load up the Isaiah page. So over here, you can see this little one here. And what that one denotes is that it has been referenced one time throughout all the other pages in my graph. So if you click on that one, you can then see that link. So under here, under linked references, you can see that this verse was referenced from the October 14th daily note page. You can see the section that it was under, as well as the context that goes under. It's all within one view. So you can get your devotional text, as well as any kind of context of where you're using this verse from. So if you're using it for a sermon preparation, you can get a high level of context of what you were working on and what you were thinking of at that time in order to help kick your brain off. I hope that this uh, demonstration has been helpful for you. I'm really excited to get this keyboard maestro macro uploaded so that you can use it to help use in your own devotional and spiritual practices. Thanks so much for watching.